Hi, I'm Danny Brown with Compass in Beverly Hills. Welcome to the Brady Bunch house. Jump in my time machine. I'm about to blow your mind. Come check out this house. Alice, I'm home. Can you make me a martini? Shaken, not stirred. The first thing you notice when you walk into this home is the iconic staircase and living room where the family hung out. The stone and brick finish, the television, the chairs, the couch, the famous horse statue. They are all replicas of items you would have seen on the show. For the Brady Bunch, this living room was where a lot of important family conversations took place about coming of age. But for now, it's a nice way to kick back and chill and feel like you're back in the 70s with all your groovy friends. As you can see, there's a wide open modern floor plan, architectural beams, big sliding glass doors, these are a lot of the same elements that buyers today in modern houses want. The floor to ceiling sliding glass doors not only throw off a ton of natural light, but also allow you views to the yard to see the kids playing, the dog tiger running around, the teeter totter and swing set. It's very functional. The table isn't set, so that means Alice must be in the kitchen still prepping for dinner. Let's go check that out. Welcome to the kitchen, the heart of the Brady home. Check out the Formica orange counters, the sea green cabinets, all the accessories, the blender. We even have Alice's famous cookie recipe. Here we are in the breakfast nook where they had a lot of cereal every morning. The pops of orange and green complemented by the brick and the stone browns, which sort of ground and balanced the bright colors. And look at this, the phone where Marsha Brady was talking to one of her suitors and soon after a wild throw came in and poof, broke her nose. Yeah, sorry, Marsha's not gonna make the day tonight. Something came up. And here we are heading into Mike's den. The drafting board is here, the fireplace, the chairs where he took his meetings. Not only does this have spectacular mid-century architecture, but it's a functional house you can live in. Kitchen, bathrooms, bedrooms. Speaking of bedrooms, let's go take a look at the bedrooms. Every room blows your mind. I mean, this is exactly what their rooms look like with the three girls' beds, their paintings, their dolls. There's even a note from Marsha to Davy Jones of the Monkees to invite him to come play at school. And here's the boys' room with the famous bunk beds. This room has shades of blues and reds and grays, which is just a throwback to the Americana style of that era. The show ran for five years, so the boys grew up here. And at some point, Greg, the oldest brother, needed his own space. So he moved into his own groovy attic. Can you believe this situation, what's going on here? The dartboard, his guitar, record player, the beads. This is the place where Greg hung out as a teenager, wrote songs on this guitar, and got away from the chaos of his young siblings. Let's go see where the parents got away from the kids. Parents' bedroom, it speaks for itself. As you can see in each bedroom, there's attention to detail. Check out the patterns on the bedspread. Check out the pillows. And you gotta check out this incredible vanity where Carol would have done her hair and makeup. With all the incredible characters on this show, the leading role to me was this house. Thank you for touring this incredible property with me. I hope you had a fabulous time seeing this one of a kind home. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.